that thought. <gasps> and I died. Hey everybody, Ben here and welcome back to another Beard Guys PUBG console video. Today we're on the Xbox Series X as usual and I've got a big game from a week or so ago over on Tago where we have a little bit of fun with the crazy Tago airdrops. I just wanted to quickly remind you that I stream at the moment on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays over on twitch.tv slash thebeardguys. So I will be streaming today if you want to pop over, say hello, ask me any questions, come along and join the fun. I'm trying to work through some of my gun mastery at the moment, so I'm playing loads of games using all sorts of weird loadouts and guns that I never normally use, trying to get them up to 100. It's been loads of fun, so do come along and check it out, and there's going to be a bunch of replays from that going up on YouTube soon. On Friday, I'll be doing custom games on stream as usual, so if you want to come and play custom games, you're very welcome to. You don't need to be a Patreon or a sub or anything. Everybody is welcome. Just turn up on Fridays from about 1 to 2 o'clock UK time time on twitch.tv slash the beard guys so that's enough from me thanks very much for watching the channel and i'll see you next time did i get a two vest i did there's a man over there somewhere hopefully he's a newbie i feel like he had a fairly fancy looking parachute we're very exposed here but whatevs right whatever It'll be fine okay first game of the day let's try and not be too rubbish i think my head my headphones are very loud Oh my god, that is gonna... <laughs> my ears are gonna melt. Oh, is that a thing? Is that a thing that happens when you hear loud noises? Your ears melt? Happens a lot on construction sites. Um, cool. We got this. We got this. We ditched this. And we're happy. We're happy. Happy as Larry. Happy as a pig in poo. What's up, Alex? How you doing? A mortar. Did anyone see, um... Hold that thought. Um, did anyone see Pigeon's mortar clip that I retweeted this morning? If not, go and check out after this game. Yeah, it was a nice, um, nice mortar clip from Pigeon. Would recommend checking it out. Trez impressive. Insane mortar found both used for a drone and a mortar. Yeah, because I mentioned it. Well, I, I, I didn't come up with the idea, but someone the other day said something about, like, using the mortar for, um... Oh, did he? I think he went out. Oh, he's there. Um, somebody mentioned using the mortar to like, you know, zo um, range find for, uh, uh, using the drone, sorry, to range find for mortar shots. And I was like, oh, that's a good idea, but you need someone else with their gun to try and like figure out the distance. But I forgot that the, the drone has a built-in range finder because it tells you exactly how far away the drone is from you. Oh, there's a different guy there. I think someone else just tried to shoot this dude. Hey, buddy. Did you have an M249? Because someone fired one. Oh, he did. It was him. I thought someone else tried to fire, but it was just him firing a, a random shot. But yeah, the uh, the drone has a built-in rangefinder, so you know you can use it to see exactly how far someone is, and then set your range on your uh, mortar, and then... Bam, nuke them if they're chilling still, which a lot of people are chilling pretty still at the moment. What is that greenish circle? It's called an error zone. You only get them on Tago. And it basically means that within that area, weapons can spawn that don't normally spawn on that map. So you might find like a QBZ on Tago or a VSS or a DBS or something. You only get them on Tago though. Uh, I saw the first advert for GBM yesterday. Great. Oh, Great British Menu, nice. Will be interesting with the new judging lineup. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited about it. Skits, how's it going? Oliver, great to see you. There's a man. Can you get an angle? We can get an angle from over there. I think we move in a bit closer. I 
really see exactly where he's. I might have got him. Yep. So yeah. The double molly. The double molly. They always fall for it. Run straight into the second one. Love to see it. Yeah, he was doing all right, that guy. He was a bit of a better player. Uh, I feel like I saw another three vest when we we're killing the last guy over here. So I'm just going to go and grab that if it's still there. Uh, yeah, so we went and ate at Tom Kerridge's restaurant last year for uh, my missus's birthday. The Hand and Flowers in Marlow. And oh my god, it was one of the nicest experiences of our lives. It was so, so nice. You know, uh, like mission, was it mission two? Mission, I think it's a mission, not two mission stars. It's one Michelin star, I think. But it's, yeah, incredible restaurant. We stayed over there as well. Beautiful place. Would recommend for a, you know, very special occasion. It ain't cheap, but it's bloody nice. I'd love to go back there again. This is what we came for. Lovely stuff. I'm a big fan of Ed Gamble too. So looking forward to him. Tom McCray seems like a nice guy. Uh, Nisha Katona runs Mowgli, which used to be insane until it became a chain. First Mowgli was in Liverpool. Oh, nice. I'm not sure if I know Nisha Katona. I'd probably recognize her if she's been on something like James Martin or that kind of thing. But um, I, I couldn't place her like off the top of my head by, just by the name. So yeah, uh, who's the guy with the big hair that's great, um, that's always on uh, MasterChef as one of the judges? I just wanted to get another first aid, but um, that's fine. Oh, I'll remember his name. But that guy, like he said, you know, he said um, food critic's job, you know, isn't, you know, eat, eat food. It's to sell newspapers. It's to sell columns. It's to, you know, you're writing entertainment. So, you know, that's what their attitude is, is to like, you know, be entertaining when talking about food. And you've got to be entertaining when you're talking about food on TV, sure. But, you know, they, they were a bit fucking tedious sometimes, weren't they? Where is this guy? He was like tucked in there. Oh, anyway. So, yeah. Jay Rayner. That's it. Jay Rayner. Great guy. Funny dude. I love the fact that the guy's PUBG report will just you be casually killing him whilst talking about <laughs> great British menu. Yeah, I love it. Not my best spraying. I was hoping to get a tire. I think I got a tire. Oh, no, he, I think he just had a moment. It must be pretty annoying if you get a uh, PUBG report and the other guy is just like so fucking casual. <laughs> like not really paying any attention. Bit of practice. Um, don't be bothered to drive over there. I just want to find some more people to shoot, really. Oh, fuck it. I guess it's a goal, isn't it? Rather than just sitting here. Those two dudes drove that way, so we might bump into them. It's classic. Someone who's just been waiting for, like, the last five minutes for me to get in that car to try and snipe me without firing. Should have tried to shoot me when I was stood up on the hill, mate. Probably one of the dudes who I was spraying at their car, I guess. You should read the Ten Food Commandments by Jay Rayner. Okay, nice. I'll try and keep that in mind. Uh, yeah, me and the missus both like him, so... Um, oh, this is the school. Oh, we're going... Well, fuck it. We're going through the middle. I mean, if he just takes that and run, I'm kind of happy with that because there's a ton of other crates we can look in here. The bike over there if you want it as well. Like, we just want to... Um, we should be able to find a level 3 helmet in one of these. Oops, heard another guy. So many of them. Oh, we found an orm. Amazing. Keep looking. Keep a looking. Find the level 3 helmet. A grozer as well.
Not sure where this guy was. Into fire again. Man, have we done all these without finding little... Sometimes you find like so many little... Oh, there we go. That's what Especially fighting a guy with a bolty. Like a rock or a bush. He wasn't far away. Um, I want to say that grows us, but uh, we need to shoot this guy first. We get the suppressor back so we can get the grozer. Oh, I didn't oh, I left one. <laughs> um, I don't know where this dude is. Oh, I see him. That was the guy that did the first crate, I guess. Yeah, it was. Took the org. Just take the org then instead of the grows. A little bit easier to switch, isn't it? Cool. We don't need anything. That's good. And we're happy. And you're dead. Cool. You missed one armor, man. Yeah, don't. We got it, Barney. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> you never know when you might need it, man. That's good luck. Finding a grozer and an orm in the little crates is pretty decent. There was a fresh three vest in one, wasn't there? There you go. Beautiful. I mean, definitely worth pushing those crates. We got, what, two two kills and some sick guns? And some sick armor. Can't complain, really, can you? Uh, let's go get back in our car. i just kind of curious in case. No, he didn't leave anything because he took the org, didn't he? I was going to see what was in here. Um, oh, there's a bike over there we can get. Oh, there was actually... There's an MK there. He didn't even loot that. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll stick with what we got. We got a good loadout. I just wanted to get some throwables. <laughs> Wow. I didn't even look in that because the guy drove up to him and buggered off. I don't, where did he get the org from? He maybe he grabbed it out of here or something. Oh, yeah. I was going to get that bike. I'm going to smash this syringe, get on this bike, and then we're going to um, go zone. Oh, we got two syringes, actually. Let's go. Let's -a go. A round of the school. Uh. I knew you'd do that. <laughs> so many people are doing that these days. Oh god, I love it. The newbies. Don't go prone when I hit you, man. Not a good idea. Where's this drivey boy gonna go? He's just gonna drive around? phone call but I can phone you back that's fine how many kills you're on uh yeah 11 I think I'm on decent first game yeah yeah decent right got a little hit on him not many on the car it feels silly you get I said the other day it feels a bit silly you get these crates so late in the game it dumps so much loot for like set we've got seven players alive and it's gonna dump like ten crates on the ground. <laughs> Seems kinda of silly, doesn't it? I'm a bit worried about this hill on my left. The car guy might have gone there, but I know he's still driving. I just wanted to get some vision over there. bit of damage on his car. Make life a bit harder for him. We might need to grab some more fives off this guy if he had some if we um, keep spraying these cars. This guy is, is hurting. We can get fives out of those crates nice and easy. There was a guy shot from back here we need to watch out for.
Your car's fucked. Give it up. In the early days of TBG, was it hard balancing a full-time job whilst growing the channel? Yeah, absolutely. It was, um, it was pretty full on. I guess the guy that was back there kind of rotated into, um, into town, maybe. We got a nice circle here, so that's what we wanted. Thank you. Let's all pop that while we're chilling. Looking for baddies. Everyone's... Okay, so... Oh, yeah, I see two guys. Guy up there. Oh, he's got a fucking self resi. It's annoying. Get an eye on him from over here. He's got a nice hill to get behind. Oh, he's up again. <laughs> there you go. Lucky one people. Not lucky enough, I'm afraid. I'm to the guy. Did he kill? Oh, no. He's, I see him there. I feel I just glimpsed a guy there. No, I didn't. There was a guy that he was shooting at down here. Like, do you think is he in that? He might be in that bush and I can't see him, possibly. Or he ran into this dip here in these other bushes, I guess. Or he, or he killed him. Could still be someone over here that's been very passive. Him and one other. Close. Oh. Stupid bug. One guy left. Where did my blue zone grenade? Oh, I went a bit long. So yeah, there we go. Job done. <laughs> easy, easy. First game. Good start. <laughs>